Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our High Calling, a devotional by Ellen White. April 26th, The Place of Good Works. Live out thy life within me, O Jesus, King of kings. Be thou thyself the answer to all my questionings. Live out thy life within me, in all things have thy way. I, the transparent medium, thy glory to display. The Place of Good Works For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained, that we should walk in them. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. Let no one take the limited narrow position that any of the works of man can help in the least possible way to liquidate the debt of his transgression. This is a fatal deception. If you would understand it, you must, with humble hearts, survey the atonement. This matter is so dimly comprehended that thousands upon thousands claiming to be sons of God are children of the wicked one because they will depend on their own works. God always demanded good works. The law demands it. But because man placed himself in sin where his good works were valueless, Jesus, righteousness alone can avail. But are good works of no real value? Is the sinner who commits sin every day with impunity regarded of God with the same favor as the one who through faith in Christ tries to work in his integrity? The scripture answers, We are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. In his divine arrangement, Through his unmerited favor, the Lord has ordained that good works shall be rewarded. We are accepted through Christ's merit alone, and the acts of mercy, the deeds of charity which we perform, are the fruits of faith, and they become a blessing to us, for men are to be rewarded according to their works. It is the fragrance of the merit of Christ that makes our good works acceptable to God, and it is grace that enables us to do the works for which he rewards us. Our works in and of themselves have no merit. We deserve no thanks from God. We have only done what it was our duty to do, and our works could not have been performed in the strength of our own sinful natures. Christ is able to save to the uttermost all that man can possibly do toward his own salvation is to accept the invitation, whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Revelation chapter 22 verse 17. No sin can be committed by man for which satisfaction has not been met on Calvary. Our High Calling, April 26th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.